school-related accident. Two years ago, I had sepsis. I was in a motorcycle accident, caught a staph infection, and uh, MRSA came in. Once we lose a part of our body, there are just so many questions. Will I ever be able to work again? How will I take care of my children? I've only been an amputee since December. It's strange to learn how to walk again. It's a new world. The power of peer support, it's tremendously invaluable, and that's what we do for each other here. I think the big catalyst of me doing what I do is because I lived it. Age 17, I was struck by a drunk driver. I flew up about 12 feet, and then he pinned me between his car and a metal railing. Yes. It feels a little tall. A little tall? I vowed that once I got back on my feet, I would start a support group. I hit a really uh, rough patch after, and uh, went through a, a lot of self-doubt. And uh, Anywhere from 30 to 60 amputees get together once a month and share stories of strength and resilience. It's hard to do anything, but I love being here. It's wonderful. You're a fighter. Yeah, can it stop? That's right. Doctors, case managers, call me to provide individual support. You can get through it. Here you are, you're smiling, you're comfortable, oh, and yeah. you're very hopeful, right? Mm -hmm. We will provide prosthetic limbs to those that have no access to any other options and resources. So they put these two in right here. We'll do basic home modifications, car modifications. Look, mom, no legs. <laughs> All right, ready? Begin! And I really try to promote healthy lifestyle, staying physically fit. Three, two, one. Good job. Late 2015, there was a group of nine amputees that summited Mount Kilimanjaro. My shoulders are burning so bad, y'all might have to roll me back down the hill. <laughs> we show others that we physically climbed this mountain, and you too can climb any mountain in your life. We're going to see you running in a matter of a couple months. And then you're gonna lead boot camp with Daryl over there. <laughs> part of my job is to remind people that we are so much more than just a body part. I know what I am and I know what I can do. You gonna let the leg do you or you gonna do the leg? We can either lay down and let our circumstance overtake us or we can stand up and take charge. She is walking. We are stronger than any circumstance that comes our way, truly. Thank <laughs> you.